Hi friends, today I am going to cover little bit about the compliances which is very important and uh, most of the people doesn't really care about the compliances. Before I dive into our uh, simple topic, I just want to give you the quick intro on my channel. Here I am bringing lot of real time based scenarios, interview questions and uh, the interview tips which you majorly uh, use the terminology in the real time. So it will definitely work to go through my channel. Just have a look and see if it is going to be useful for you. So let us get into our today's topic Azure Compliances or AWS Compliances. Usually I observed many of my teams mostly care on the appliance related uh, or application related compliances. They don't really care about the cloud related compliances. If you are deploying your application, even your so deployment services also should be compliant with the respective requirement of the compliance. So let me just uh, come back to my terminology on the compliances like GDPR or SOC or HIPAA. These are all various compliances and each country has their own compliances for various departments or various domains. Now everyone look at whether the application data is protected as per the GDPR or the data is secured as per the HIPAA, all those things are being taken care. How about checking whether the cloud service which they are using are compliant or not. This is a basic thing which usually people miss. That is where I just thought of covering this topic here. So if you see Microsoft Azure compliance offerings, they already they have plenty of compliances for all those services and you just need to give it check. Okay. So by going to this link, you can download and then I have a PDF, PDF which is already downloaded. You can see which service covers what. For example, I want to check uh, app services. I'm just scrolling down. There's nothing much like you can, if you want, you can read it. So I, my main uh, intention to go through this document is so let me search rather than so yeah this table so you, you, there is detailed information in the above lines you can still go ahead but if you want to have a quick check okay I'm using app services or API management your requirement is uh, that you have to uh, compliant with HIPAA or GDPR or something PCA D e DSS or something. So you can come down here and you can check whether that particular service which you are opting is compliant with that particular uh, compl uh, complaint or not, right? So you can see uh, uh, if you uh, app service API apps is compliant with so many things, whereas API management is also yes a builder is not okay so there are few services uh, which are not compliant you, you can see here azure archive storage is not uh, compliant with iso 22301 so similarly it is not compliant with something else also so you need to check what services you are using and whether it is compliant if you take the azure cosmos db uh, almost everything is covered but it is not covering japan cs mark gold right so you have to make sure that your services are compliant as per your requirement by just going through this table each service which you have uh, used in your architecture okay so that's one step the second step is like you can also uh, as i mentioned like there is a lot of data you can go through that and for each uh, uh, compliance they have given what services it supports and what doesn't, right? All those things are given. At the same time, you have some one more document called Azure Compl Compliance Documentation. Here it covers uh, the respective compliance detailed information, like how Azure is covering that particular compliance and even the fact frequently asked questions. For example, the most frequently used uh, compliance is GDPR. Just let me go through one of the complaints how it is defined for example if you go to the gdpr which is eu europe uh, region based uh, complaints so you can see what is the terminology what is the gdpr and uh, use comp uh, microsoft complaints manager to access your risk so uh, under there are various uh, frequently asked questions and they answered here so all this detailed information is given 
uh, for you so you can uh, you can read it if you have time but simply you can at least check in the pdf file whether your services are uh, complete or not similarly even aws also has a documentation for example but they have different format of the documentation uh, here you can see first you can select which complaints you want uh, for example if you want soc within the soc what are the services supported you can see here soc 123 are supported by so and so services so they have given all the services list of the aws so in case uh, if you are looking for uh, rather than going by the service they have given by the compliance okay now my requirement is to support something like uh, pci you just go to the PCI and just check whether that particular one supports or not okay so this is how you can check similarly they also have detailed information about uh, each compliance on the links e here is a link I can I'll also provide this links in my description please go through that so you can see here general data protection regulation and more information about it so this is a minimum thing which we need to even check whether those cloud services are supporting or not that's it for today uh, please uh, give your feedback in the form of the comments so that you know i can address um, or i can improve my video quality thanks for watching my videos and thanks for subscribing